Hello everybody, you have tuned in to the right place. Let's go! Let me tell you what time it is. Guess what, y'all? It's time for. Let me tell you what time it is. Let me let me tell you what time it is. Let me tell you what time it is. Guess what, y'all? It's time for. Let me tell you what time it is. Let me let me tell you what time it is. Yeah. Good morning and welcome to Monday morning. It is the 2nd of November 2020. Yes, we have officially made it out of October. Um, ain't too much that I can say about that. This month has been going flying by, um, or did fly by this year as well. You know, um, I just got to remember those moments and hopefully they're good moments. So tomorrow is election day. Yay. So if you have not voted and you intend to vote, because I'm not even going to say those who have not voted, you need to go vote. No, you have to have intention to vote at this point. Um, if you're not going to vote and you intend to vote, please do so. Um, there's a lot on the line, you know, just a peace of mind is actually on the line. What do you want to continue to wake up to each and every day? Um, the type of rhetoric, the type of language that you want to wake up to every day. Um, yes, we know there's going to be chaos in the world, but there are certain things that um, we still need to have some type of voice or opinion on, and that is definitely voting for this year. So if you have intentions to vote, if you have a melon ballot, you need to go ahead and drop it in the drop box because at this point, don't even worry about mailing it in. Just go and find the Dropbox. There's several here in Rockford. Uh, you can definitely get online and find out in your county, in your city, where your Dropbox is because it's important. This is kind of where we're at right now. Um, I've not necessarily been watching the news per se because it's a lot. And it, honestly, it's all repetitive as of right now because they're just trying to understand the red and blue states and things like that so i'm not necessarily watched too much because it can get overwhelming um but i am definitely still following because you do always want to be aware um so we do need to stay safe in all that we do um and just be um be diligent in your intentions so again if you have intentions then definitely move forward with that um in regards to today Today, I'm going to talk briefly just about getting in the zone. I have two weeks worth of content, and today is talking about just getting in the zone um, because I'm hearing a lot from people, just people going through, you know, and it's very hard to say that you'll be fine um, because we all know that sometimes those, those fine moments may not come for some time, and it's just easier said than done. But one thing that I definitely did practice when I needed to get into the zone after being in a certain period of funk uh, was definitely just making sure my mind was surrounded by positive things. And I know that not everyone listens to gospel music. That's totally fine. But that's one way that I get into the zone, especially when I need something, when I need to have a peace of mind, which is so priceless at this point. Um, that's something you can't put value on to have a peace of mind. But how I get my peace of mind, I have to get into the zone. Um, so I definitely pray about it. I definitely listen to my gospel music. I push away what negativity I can, you know, because I am the master of my environment. Uh, currently, I am working from home and um and a good example is i have to be in a certain environment to be productive so when i'm at work and at my desk and in my office like i'm just typing away and everything um it's different when you work from home because you have so many other roles that you could be playing so many other things that you could give attention to that it's hard to stay in the zone so when I'm at home working, I have to be at a desk or something or uh, my mind wanders and our mind definitely wanders, you know, to the negative side, to the distraction side, where it's hard to come back from that. So I do challenge you today that if you have any type of 
darkness that you may be in, that you have any type of distress that you may have, that you have any type of discouragement that you may have, that you find a zone that you're able to prosper in. And that may mean taking yourself out of certain environments, taking yourself out of certain situations, having positive music versus music not necessarily that's going to get a positive vibe. And also with the news, you know, the news is is not all positive sorry it's not it can actually be very negative very stressful um so if you have to stop watching news for a couple of days then you need to do so because our well-being comes first and there are several areas in our lives that we need to be focusing on we tend to only focus on our physical sometimes our mental and we don't often focus too much on our spiritual well-being well our spiritual is in need just as much as every other area in our life. Um, next week, we will be doing a wellness check where I check off several areas that I tend to be mindful of when I'm trying to figure out how healthy I really am. And it's not just the physical aspect, it's financially how healthy am I, relationship-wise, um, job, how's my job going, how do I feel about my job? You know, we do have to do some type of evaluation from time to time so that we know what we need to reset and redefine in our lives. So I truly do challenge you for that because I know that a lot of us are struggling and there's a point that it's going to come where we feel like there's no way out. There's always a way out. We just have to be more structured in our thinking and understand where that peace of mind truly does come from. We can't get it from others like we used to or like we thought we could. You know, humans are here for certain purposes, but God is here for everything. He's the one that makes everything possible. That possibility of not feeling down and low anymore definitely comes from him. So I do want to encourage you with that. Um, next week, it'll be a little bit similar with content because I had two things on my mind, but I just wanted to share that for today. For your first Monday of November, your Motivating Monday. Um, so I definitely want to go ahead and end with prayer so that we can have our, have our way and, and start our day. So... Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for the day that you have made that I, we will rejoice and be glad in it. You woke us up for a reason. You woke us up and we are able to say thank you. So I'm truly grateful for that. You are an awesome father, an awesome friend, and you keep on loving us. I pray for the next few days, Lord Jesus, as we may be going through some tumultuous times, Lord Jesus. And I just pray, Lord, that we keep it together, that we be safe, Lord, that you give us the ability to de-stress, Lord Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you.